boy, it's one of these. There, you see? His health went up after the scream. I knew I wasn't wrong about this shit. Holy fucking hell! Where the fuck do you get off doing that kind of fucking damage? Oh god, just transform it for fuck's sakes. What the fuck even hit me? Well, this is some fucking bullshit damage I'm taking here. making that noise. Sounds like there's someone right on my ass, but it must be down below or something. Oh, uh, nope. It was looking like this might be connected to another big room. God fucking damn you! Kind of annoying how fast some of those attacks can pop off. Okay. Uh, the room's been cleared out. Can start progressing through doors. Heal me while I'm climbing this ladder. Oh, goody. Nobody? Oh, there he is. Really wish the lock would break the instant they died. That way you'd know they were dead. Oh, someone was taking a nap. Anyone else? Sleep on the fucking job? Yeah, bonus area to explore later. As I clear out this place. Hi. I was expecting you to pop off with some running attack that would be nice and fast so I could get my health back. Yep, saw that coming. And whoop! Gotcha. Hmm. Oh God, how does she not see me? see me. You do not see me. You do not see me. You do not see me. Oh, thank God she can't see me. Fuck. 
Fuck. Go to hell. Immediately. Oh, thank you. God damn, that was lucky as hell. How the hell was I fighting that damn werewolf right in the goddamn next room and she didn't fucking pick up on that shit? She can hear me through the walls when I'm three rooms away, but that she was completely unaware of. I don't even fucking know. And the ones with the goddamn corpse clubs are even worse because they do rapid poison damage and their attack patterns are so much different from the other ones that you're used to fighting. That I'm used to fighting. Oh, goody, a room full of fucking rats. Camera! Little help, please! like to know where the fucking door is so I can leave! Jesus Christ, Platinum Games, show them how to program a fucking camera! You gotta be careful when you have carts, especially with their handles, pointed towards a wall like this, that they aren't so close that you're gonna get stuck in there. Because you will get stuck in there. And the only way out will be to use a friggin' bold hunter's mark. Hey, asshole, come and get me. Where, where are you walking off to? That's a solid fucking wall right there. Give me some health. Swanny bitch! Oh, and eat a dick in hell while you're at it. Like there's nothing here. Wow, the, uh, that grass, those grass roots are surprisingly straight looking, don't you think? Almost like curtains. What's in here? Oh yeah, that goes that goes back. Okay, so uh, ladder and that door. That's the next area. And what's behind this door? Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is the point of this? And that's the way I came. Alright, let's go find that uh, bonus area again. Ah... Uh. Blood bug where I killed the crazy bitch. Okay, good. He was just hearing me down, hearing me upstairs. <laughs> That's the one thing that makes the uh, blood bugs in the DLC more annoying than the ones you fight anywhere else in the game, is the fact that even if you sneak up on them and you're totally silent and it seems like they're not aware of you, as soon as you start holding down that R2 button, they immediately kick you in the fucking face. I want to find out who decided to give them that trait and just bitch slap that motherfucker right across the face. 
It's like, no, that's a dick move. Smack. All the other blood bugs in the game, you can sneak up on and slam them in the ass, but no, not those ones. You get kicked in the fucking face if you try that shit. In the DLC. The River of Blood. Although, to be honest, those blood bugs are far less annoying than the ones anywhere else in the game because they're not quite as aggressive and that spit move doesn't do near as much damage. Big pain in the ass with that is how hard that fucking blood spit staggers you. It's like, keep moving, asshole. It's just spit. Why the hell does a goddamn loogie stop you in your tracks? So the wall clipping, I had to check it. Okay. What's in here? Find a root chalice? Or no. No, it's all... It's all ritual materials. You only get chalices from the boss fights. Hello! I fucking hate ties. Remember... You can stun lock him with a good spanking. I don't think I've seen any giant bells yet. I've been wanting to talk about those. Why is there a speck of light up there? Where did it go? There it is. Generally, those wandering nightmares tend to make a lot of noise. Not very loud, but if you're listening for it, you can hear them very clearly. I just don't want to run out here and then get bitch slapped off the fucking ledge. There's someone downstairs. And oh, look! Surprise! It's your birthday. Okay, I know there's a hole in this hallway. Yep, there it is. Well, you can see the shadows of enemies in the floor above. Oh, boy. How can I resist? Oh, come on, you guys! Crowd up into that death ball again. Eh, fuck it. The moment has passed. Oh god, there's spiders, aren't there? There's gonna be fucking phantom spiders that I can't get rid of. Fuck me. Hit the fucking I God, why does every hit have to be a fucking tie? Move, 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 move! Why aren't you fucking moving? Move faster! Oh my fucking god! Move your goddamned ass! All to go away. Four, which means either one of them's real or there's more than one of these goddamn bell ringers in there. Thing is, those goddamn spiders will be able to come back. Which is a convenient little stairway for them. Fuck off. Couldn't give me the fucking visceral. You fucking bitch. 
I got this whole fucking area to deal with again. You couldn't just give me the goddamn visceral and save my fucking ass. You had to dick me around and kill me. Fucking surprise me this time, you little turd. I need a place where I can get rid of those guys, but if I have to lure them into another area, they're just gonna come back. How many fucking spiders are going to come out of that fucking room? Will you fucking die? 14 goddamn hit points, you couldn't finish him off. Don't tie me at every fucking hit, you little shit face. Get out! That's the fucking trap. You need to get in there and kill that bitch, but you got all this shit to worry about too. That's why we always retain the fucking nuclear option. Fucking bellfish summoning spiders in a room full of fucking werewolves. What a glorious fucking nightmare that is. That worked out well. Throw his fucking hissy fit because that last attack of his can rotate 180 degrees. Now actually kill this guy. Blast her in the face and then run. You fuckers are already in here! Jesus fucking Christ! No, we're running all the fucking way away. I mean, did that bitch even have a chance to summon fucking anyone before I blasted her right in the fucking back? Come on, shithead!
Come on. Down the fucking hole, you numb nuts. Go do something. Fuck me sideways. Why is it that everything that can go wrong does go wrong? You were real. Where did that fucking bitch go? I Break the fucking lock and run. Run, run, run. Jesus fucking Christ, run. Is there still another bitch still alive? What the fuck is with all these damn spiders? All of you, down the fucking hole, get out of my face so that I can properly explore that fucking room. Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, just go! Now, are there any more bell bitches in here? heard a fucking bell. Where is she? Damn it! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Move, you bitch! Hearing a bell. Where the fuck is she? Bitch fucking invisible? Where the fuck is she? Sounds like it's coming from right here. She like clipped through the floor or some shit? You're standing there the whole fucking time! Fucking bitch! Now, are there gonna be less than 12 fucking spiders coming after my ass? For God's sake! Fucking Christ, the second I come in there, there's already half a dozen of the little pricks coming after me. You're supposed to summon one at a time! Which means at most there should only be two! One from each of you bitches! Not instantly half a fucking dozen! And two fucking werewolves! Welcome to depth five! Ugh! Oh my god, these are real! Fuck off! Jesus fucking Christ. So yeah, we had like fucking half a dozen real ones that weren't even summoned by them. Two bell maidens and two werewolves in one fucking room that didn't even have a fucking treasure. Jesus Christ!
Come here, you shit! Ooh. Will you stop doing that, you fucking hairy turd? Come here. Take a fucking swing. Take a fucking swing. Swing up, bitch! I will pump bullets into your fucking face until you do what you're told. My attention, you fucking got it. Now fuck off and die. Yeah. That was blatantly obvious. Let's just lure you out of that fucking corner in the case there's a dark trap in there. Obscured by the smoke lantern. No, nope, just smoke lanterns. Okay. Now that that horse shit's over with, let's open up the final room with the giant fucking psycho bitch. Unless, of course, this particular area has used up its allotment of bullshit and I get a friggin' silver beast as a guardian. All right, we gotta go back across to the other side. I should just skip that whole fucking area completely and just hop down the bridge. It'd be a fantastic place for some asshole to knock me off. Silver beast, or even more bullshit. Yay! Bullshit quota fulfilled. Ugh. Do something else! Thank you. God! Are we still on the first layer? I don't recall fighting any bosses yet, but Jesus fucking Christ. I am definitely ready for this shit to end. Oh, gross. Yeah, if you're doing any uh, Depth 5 root dungeons, you're going to need red jellies for every single ritual. I would have thought we needed a red jelly for this place, but I guess not. What you got for me? What's worth all this bullshit? Well, at least there's four of them. Of course, that's only for coming here and other Loran, uh, lower Loran root dungeons. Jesus fucking Christ. It's not bad enough you got two bell maidens in one room. You gotta have a pair of werewolves in there too, and an army of pre-existing non-summoned spiders. Jesus fucking Christ. You get so many rooms that are just completely empty and have absolutely nothing, and then you get a room like that that's just overflowing with fuck. Yeah, that hole isn't a... You think that hole is a trap. It's actually a shortcut. Okay. Wait. Yeah. This... Yeah, okay. I remember now. I'm not dealing with any shit in that this area here, because I already cleared all this crap out. I don't need to be dealing with these assholes more than once. Fuck that noise. Uh, no. I choose not to deal with your bullshit. I've already killed all of you once already. Uh, 
Okay. This looks like it's going to be someone rather large. Don't be an undead knight, please. Oh, this guy! Okay. Uh, excuse me? Timing and hitboxes? That fucking backhand. That fucking reach. Will you fucking move? Really? How fucking long are your arms, dickhead? What the hell was that boxing game? It had a bunch of different characters. It wasn't Punch Out. You believe it or not, they they made boxing games that weren't Punch Out. But uh, yeah, uh, poison knives, please and thank you. Always poisonous motherfucker. Cuts down on the time. But no, there was a boxing game. They had like some really weird characters. I know one guy was like uh, an old-timey boxer. And another one was like a robot whose head was literally a punching bag. Uh, one of the unlockable characters was Michael Jackson. And the final boss turned out to be the referee who just mutated into this goddamn ogre. With insanely long fucking arms and this is who you remind me of you shitbag had the most insanely long reach of anyone in the fucking game MOVE Hit once, you get hit twice. It's the rule with this guy. You in your fucking backhand. I'm literally amazed that didn't fucking hit me. Did I actually break a part of your fucking body? Fucking damn it! Fuck you, bitch! <sighs> Still better than an undead giant. I fight twelve of those dicks before I fight one undead giant. Make up your mind, which way are you going? as bullshit as the reach on his arms is, at least the damage isn't too bullshit. I may have been losing a third of my health on every hit, but at least I wasn't losing two-thirds of my health on every hit. And the rest of my health with a fucking counter damage bonus.
See, why can't I not be allowed to go into the fucking menu and switch up my shit while I'm opening a door? You know, save me some fucking time here. Jesus. So, that was an entire hour just for the first layer. Give you an idea of what uh, kind of shit you have to look forward to in Depth 5. Okay, so that's enough for now. We'll split this up, and next time we'll get to Layer 2. So until then, goodbye. Oh my god, what a load of shit.